Case number. Okay. She's like, yeah, I got away with it now. Look, look at her smiling there. Ugh, gross. I hate to resurrect this person back from the uh the dead. She's not dead or anything. She's in jail right now. But you know, internet dead. Okay. I hate to resurrect her, but on my feed um there is this body cam video that popped up this is the type of person who just has no shame whatsoever the lies that she came up with the stories that she came out with how she changed everything and it was just it was just wild like just to name a few because there's so much and i don't want to overwhelm you but just to name a few um she initially said that gannon uh went out to play he's missing and then the cops were like, well, did you knock on anyone's door? She did it. The neighbors were like, no, she didn't knock on my door. You know, that's the first thing you would do if a kid goes missing, right? Knock on the neighbor's door. See, like, what's up? His friends and stuff like that. She didn't do any of that. And then later on, you know, she decided to change her story and said, they're like, well, actually, you know, um, someone broke into my house, you know, uh, or, you know, I gave him the code to come in to clean the or to, to repair the carpet. I forgot which one it was. And um, they were supposed to repair the carpet. They came in, they left um they assaulted me and then they just took gannon in a suitcase or something like that it's like okay well why didn't you tell the police that before and also why did you clean the crime scene if something happened to you kind of weird right and so when she went on with the different variations of lies and all that stuff and that didn't work um she tried to get this polygraph <laughs> this uh she tried to hit this polygraph website to submit a fake polygraph. Um, but then when they realized, this company realized that she was asking some really sus questions. They're like, hey, like, you know, we don't want to be involved in any, like, anything illegal. So we're not going to give you the polygraph results. And then she was trying to call them back and get a refund. I don't know. That, that was funny as well because we have the voice video calls for that. Or, sorry, we have the telephone call for that one. Of her most recent ones um, of the lies is that she was like, you know what? Actually, I have a multiple personality disorder. Yeah, like, you know, I'm friends with, like, I don't know. I so she brought up like Tupac or something. She brought up like Edward Cullen, the vampires, and it's just, it's just wild. Okay, but let me tell you something. She was found guilty. Barely anyone testified on her behalf. Um, her brother testified, but testified for the state. But you know, they had someone testify, you know, and said they're like, oh yeah, she's got multiple personality disorders. She's got issues. Blah blah blah. We didn't buy any of that. Uh uh. We didn't buy any of that mess because you know what? She was just. It just looked like it was fake, you know, and she changed her story so many times that it's just like, you know, I'm just I'm just done with this person. But anyway, she was found guilty. Um, I want to watch this with you guys. It's from Plunder Body Cam Videos, and they were able to get a body cam video of the night that Gannon Stout went, went missing. So it's a body cam video of a police officer who came to the house and Letitia Stout. I just want to see her demeanor. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to be it's going to be the same old bullshitty Letitia Stout where she's like trying to be lighthearted and like laughy laughy with the cops and stuff like that. But um, I think we might've heard bits and pieces of the audio in trial. However, now we got the body cam video and I wanna watch it with you guys. And uh, let's see what's the, it's, it's not long, so don't worry. I'm not gonna pull you guys into the whole like Tisha stock thing for like an hour or two hours or anything like that. She could even put up a face. So like her stepson was missing at this point. This woman over here, she's laughing and looking at the carpet and like she's giggling and stuff like that. Like, I don't know, maybe this is like what she does with people with authority, you know, maybe that's why she like, maybe she thinks it's like cute and stuff like that. And she thinks she can get away with it. Like, oh, she's full of shit, literally, right? <laughs> From the situation, but. At least you got a carpet. Yeah, yeah. Right, I just took it and like covered up with the carpet and stuff like that, but. Does, it, does he have any? This looks like the basement. Yeah, this looks like the basement. So Gannon, Gannon's bedroom was in the basement. And in the basement, there's also like a living room, like a secondary living room area. And I believe that's where the candle incident happened, where we listened to that horrible, awful, cringe voice recording that Letitia actually recorded. And it was when she said that, you know, Gannon had burned the carpet, um, but you could hear him crying. And he says, like, you know, something hurts, something hurts. It seems like maybe he like burnt his hands or something like that. But I, I don't know. She's showing us the carpet, I guess. I'm laughing. Friends around here. Some lady online had noticed it, like, like messaged us and had noticed that that was uh, him or the description. And she was like, was that him? And I was like, yes. What, where was that picture taken? Um, I don't know. Oh, God. And honestly, I'm sorry I'm pausing this, but I just need to put in my little my little jabs here and there. But she's the type of person who is... What do you call them again? Compulsive liar, right? Compulsive liars. They just have this compulsion, just a lie, 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 lie. But they just don't think about how later on some of their lies are going to be disputed. So just now the officer was like, well, okay, like, are there pictures? Like you said, there's pictures. Like, oh, where's the pictures? Like, oh, 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 you know what? I don't know. Oh, God, I, I, I don't know. It's just like 
you know, you come up with all these lies and you don't really think of head that like, hey, these lies are going to be disputed and you're just going to look really stupid. I, got, I honestly have about 150 Facebook messages that I haven't answered people on because you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just now, in case you're a little bit confused why it was so jumpy, I think that was just like a little preview of the entire video. Um, she shot him right. Not only did she ultimately end up shooting him, um, but the autopsy reports said that he was actually cut because like she was trying to stab him. Um, he was cut like I think, oh, I don't have the exact number, but it was like I think like 20 ish times. It was a lot. Uh, I think um, he she he even had blunt force trauma. So it seems like um, I forgot which one was first, either the blunt force trauma or the attempted knife stabbing. But ultimately, she ended up coming back with a loaded gun and she did shoot him like three times or something. So this is not like this is wild. He's he's just a little boy. This is wild. Like all the anger that you have, like it's not just like a spur of the moment thing. It's like this woman had three different potential weapons that she used towards him. I ultimately, I think that she had a lot of resentment towards the dad. And I'm not saying it's the dad's fault or anything like that, but I think she had a lot of resentment towards the dad based on the Google searches that she had, which were like, oh, you know, I'm just a glorified babysitter. Oh, the mom doesn't do anything. I'm just babysitting the kids. Like, what am I doing with my life? Blah, blah, blah. I just think that she was really hostile towards her, you know, her stepkids because she didn't want to take care of them. And she's like, oh, you know, she thinks the dad is like running off. Like, even though he's working, like the reason why the dad was out of town for a couple of days is because he was, um... He was a, oh, was he a National Guard, I think? And he was just out for like, what, two or three days or something. But I don't know. I think she had a lot of resentment. And then all her anger just like bundled up one day and then just went towards Gannon Stout, which is really ridiculous because he's just a kid. Like, you know what? If you knew you had anger issues, if you knew, or yeah, or maybe she hated the mom as well. Yeah, I think she resented um, her husband and she rent, resented the kid's um, mom as well. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Tiny Ghost. I forgot about that. I took the covers that he was laying down, like had, and I just like threw it on there because I got my uh, daughter out and the dogs out. She was working, and it was it was something. Yeah, everybody know. I know. It was something that we were just like. Yeah. Did he take his bike? No. Okay, so okay, because somebody saw a little kid on a bike. They posted it, but I didn't know if he brought it. Well, he didn't unless he took it sooner and brought it back because Lena ends up getting the bike. So again, Lena is her stepdaughter. Lena is also Gannon's uh, younger sister. At some point during the trial, she also kind of sort of tries to pin it on Lena as well by saying that like, oh yeah, Lena helped me with Gannon's body. Lena helped me bring Gannon's body into the car vehicle trunk or something like that. And I, I don't know, this person is just a mess. Like she does not care about anyone but herself. Oh, um, have you guys seen this movie? I watched it recently. It's called The Strays. It's about this mom who one day ups and leaves her husband, her two kids. She appears into like a new town and she's like starting her life over. She's like a headmistress. Um, she's like married to a white guy. She's got like kids and like, she like suppresses her kids from showing that they're like black in any way. So she doesn't allow her daughter to like have like hairstyles that's like curly or anything like that. She wants her daughter to have like straight hair. I don't know, it's like super fucking weird movie. But um, should I spoil the ending? Oh, I don't want to spoil the ending. Just watch the movie, The Strays. But it's literally about a mom who's so selfish. All she cares about herself and she does not care anything about her kids whatsoever. Um, the reason why I brought it up is because her, this woman right here, it just seems like she does not care what kind of trauma that she brings on to her daughter, her stepdaughter, anything like that. I don't know. It's like she even got her her real daughter, um, 17-year-old Harley. She got her daughter and was like, hey, like, can you go get me cleaning supplies? And these are the cleaning supplies that you know people believe that she used to clean up Gannon's um like the blood everywhere and all the essentially the crime scene but yeah just a very selfish person only cares about themselves like that's just that's just that's just what we're getting it's the vibe that we're getting okay and yeah, rides the bike because hers had broke when she ran into okay. him I say ran into him as in not not physically right. but she somehow got his bike just, because hers wouldn't just, work okay. so he could have at so one they were point here. Okay. okay yeah they were supposed to go pick him up for bike? dinner Okay. Blue, and he never black. Home. They and thought he was at his friend's house. Yeah. We have him on one. And he was never there. There's and one picture of someone. House. Sorry, there's like two different conversations going on at the same time right now. And I'm like, I don't know if I should listen to her or if I should listen to the police officer. <laughs> that he was on. Okay. And he was holding, he was making the switch. Do you mind if my partner looks around the house real quick? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. kids, they hide. Thank you. They get high for hours. Yeah, no, we've already checked the camp like the. Is there is there any other kids here? There's a, yeah, there's kids here. I say kids here. 
there's a, my sister. Too. It is a nice house. Yeah, no, he's definitely, he, he, he was out there because they love him. I believe they were renting from this house, but this house was newly built. Um, they were the first family to live in this house um, because later on when they find cleaned up blood stains underneath the carpet where the mattress was, you know, there's no way that she can dispute and be like, oh, well, that might have been from the family that lived here before us. Like, no, you were the first family that lived there. Blah, blah, blah. So... Wait, really? There's a real life Fundy mother who does that to her mixed race children. They run some kind of like family channel. Oh God, it's like on YouTube family channels. Ooh, family channels. Oh God. Yeah, so it was. Like, it, wait, I had to look that up because I had no idea what a Fundy was. Fundy, a fundamentalist, especially a religious fundamentalist? Or is that like a different, is there a different word for Fundy? I've never heard of Fundy before. And also keep in mind that she's not just like a new stepmother, like just came into their lives a couple months in and she's like stressed out, whatever. She's been their stepmother for like, I think four to five years. At that point, you definitely have an established relationship to these kids. I just find it so hard to even understand how she could even hurt Gannon. But here's the thing too, right? The police are there. They're talking to her, trying to figure out where Gannon is. And she just sounds so jovial. <laughs> like, like, she's just like, oh yeah, guys. Uh -huh. And just like very like peppy, peppy, I guess. And like, I don't know. We saw in the preview that she was like laughing and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. That's just like red flags, red flags, red flags, red flags. I believe a suitcase was in the car. Yeah, like wrong, things, so. Perhaps. Yeah. So, um, he did that. Um, he didn't do that. Cause you said his stomach was turned. What did, what happened? He said, he, he, said he, he had already talked to my husband about the opposition. So he said he was going to his friend's house to play video games. Yeah, what time did he left at 3.30? I, I'm not, I don't know the exact time because- Oof, see, then now we don't got no time frame. She said that Gannon went to his friend's house to go play video games. But ring, 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 remember, the neighbors, they were like, um, she never knocked on our doors. She never knocked on our house or anything. And it's like, that's the first thing you would do when you're trying to find a missing child. Because I was correcting his uh, carpet thing downstairs. Okay. He, so he, and he's free, like, my husband's like very more, like, more free than I am with the situation. I kind of always like, who's actually going to give me that number? That's how I was with her. But like, he's like, oh, I was in the neighborhood, I, you know, they can ride bikes, everyone together type thing. So, um, yeah, so he, every, all the time they go and ride and meet friends. That's how we do we go to the house. Oh, they got doggo? Oh, I didn't know they had doggo. I wonder how she treated her dog. I, I'm always curious. People who kill other people, people who abuse other people, like how, how did they treat their pets? I wonder if we're going to get a footage of when they go into the, um, the garage. Oh, was that a Frenchie? I couldn't tell. Yeah, we, we are, we are, we are, Wait, hold on. I have a quick question. Um, why not just turn the lights on, on Mr. Officer? <laughs> Mr. Officer, your job might be easy if you got the lights on. I mean, I know you got a flashlight and all, but you might just want to turn the lights on, you know? This is like we're doing like a haunted house tour or something like that. Oh, Doggo. Hi, Doggo. I can hear it breathing. It does sound like a French. A French just be having that, that like nose thing, you know? Oh, yeah. That's right. I was like, wrong. I mean, there's, yeah, there's a switch right there, Mr. Officer. Hey, right. Did I bring my thing in here? I might be in there. Oh, the laundry room. 
Is it, is it connected to the basement? Wait, what is this? Is this the basement? Can oh god, is this the garage? Oh, is this the garage? Ah, it is the garage and that's the car right there. Oh my god. So at this point, we believe that she had moved Ganon's body, right, put him in a suitcase and put it in that trunk of the car. Now, I think later on, they found that there was a puddle of blood, I think, that was underneath where the car trunk would be. Oh my God. I think Ganon was like right there. Like literally like right there. And why, why does it cut off like that? What kind of body cam footage is this? Sir, I think it might be in my car, so whenever you're- What, what, what might be in your car? My, he wants my ID. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was this the car you guys had with you today? Do what? Wait, hold on a second. Do you really think she left her ID in the car? Or do you think that she was like, wait a second, I'm missing a police officer. Oh shit, is he in the garage? Oh, let me go into the garage really quick. Let me, let me, let me intercept him. Oh. Was this the car you guys had with you today? What do you mean with me today? Oh my God. What do you mean with me today? She sounds nervous to me. I'm sorry. I'm going to rewind this a little bit. In your car. My, he wants, sir, I think it might be in my car. So whenever you're. What, what, what might be in your car? My, he wants my ID. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, was this the car you guys had with you today? Do what? Was this the car you guys had with you today? What do you mean with me today? I mean, did you drive this car today? Three times today. That's three times that he asked the same question and she's like, huh? Oh, what, what, what do you mean? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. I didn't drive that car today. You did this not car drive this car. Today. Okay. All right. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't drive the car today. Mm-hmm. Wait, do we get to see in the trunk? Has he ever hit in anything like this before? No, this is... No. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, is he gonna open the trunk? Oh, he opens the trunk. Is there a suitcase back there? Wait, I don't see the suitcase. Wait, don't you guys remember a trial? Is it the other car? I know. She, I know they have two cars. Is it the other one? Is there a suitcase back here? Maybe it was the other car. I remember um, what was also mentioned that she had asked, I think, she asked her daughter to pull the car back or something, which is like kind of unusual um, into the garage or something. And they were saying that like, oh, you know, maybe she wanted to park over the puddle of like, you know, where the blood used to be, the stain or something like that. I swear you can see a green and black suitcase in the car with the officer, but not sure if that's the one Ganon was in. Really? I, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell. Oh, no, it would be so chilling. Um, I don't. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. So Crime Curious says the DA said the suitcase is in the storage room. Oh, hidden under boxes, not visible on body cam. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I thought she, I thought she had the suitcase in the trunk and they didn't check the car. Oh my God, that's so, that's so chilling. Like just being a responding officer and knowing that like, Gannon's body was like pretty close, like just right there. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, because, you know, I thought she was nervous about the cop looking into the car because maybe Gannon was back there. All right, never mind. Yeah, I mean, they're they're looking around. I mean, they're not a lot of probably open up box and stuff like that, but, you know, they're looking around. Yeah. Can you believe this is three and a half years ago? Is there anybody down here? The other yeah, no, just says, no, 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 no. I mean, no one is down there. Okay. Do you know where the storage room was? Was it upstairs or was it in the basement? Huh. It's my maiden name. So it's hard. But I'm also wondering why the police officer does. Oh, he's. Oh, okay. Okay. He's turned on the light this time. Okay, Mr. Police Officer. He heard me. He heard me. You know, I was screaming in his ear and he was like, you know what, Corey, you're right. We turn on these lights. He was walking in the bedroom earlier with no lights on. Oh, is this, is this the storage unit? But you said it was an on-body cam, though? Tisha in transit? No, I saw bits and pieces of it where she was, like, trying to make her escape, Sarah. Is that the one that you're talking about? By Gannon's room? Downstairs? Is it this? Maybe they got another closet. Yeah, she tried to run away. Mm -mm. Closet. I know, right? I'd be turning on all the damn lights. You never know what ghost might pop out. Um, the carpet, I think we just glazed over it. Okay, yeah, never mind. Mr. Cop didn't listen to me. Turn on the light! Oh, this is where the DA says he was. But it's not on the body cam, he said. Hold on, is this, this is not. Wait, is this, um, is this Harley's bedroom? Was Harley's bedroom on the same floor as Gannon's? Wait, you're telling me she put Gannon's body in Harley's closet? Or is it after this? They shared a bathroom. He's oh, okay. It's first room afterwards. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Tankless water heater. I see a red suitcase. I don't remember what the color of the suitcase was. But you said it was hidden though, right? It was, like you can't see it in the body cam. Wait, you saw a green suitcase? Where? I didn't see it. What's going on here? No, they opened the trunk of uh, one of the cars. They said it was under the boxes. Oh. Oh. 
Is that is that why the boxes look like a mess? Just thrown on top like that? Yeah, he's like, uh, should I? I mean, he's like trying to look through, but he's like, eh. Oh man, it's under those boxes. Yeah, because those boxes, I mean, look at the way they're all thrown up together like that. Who's going to go through that mess? <laughs> Jesus. And you know what these people don't realize or even care is how this affects like other people. Like remember with the, the Treviso video, we, we see um, the, the hospital staff were affected, law enforcement, you know, I'm sure they're affected, the detectives as well. Like, I don't know, like I, I feel like, I feel so bad for this police officer because you know, he's probably thinking like, you know, in retrospect, like, oh my God, like I was right there. I was right there, but yeah, ugh, so Sorry, tough. No, this is Gannon's room right here. Also, I had a baby through a blueberry all up on my walls and the stain is still there. I, I would think that like if there was blood, it'd be really hard to clean, but I guess apparently not. It's like you can get like the blood stains. Well, at least like to the visible eye, but I don't know. I still got blueberries staying all up on my walls. Yeah, I mean, he's like looking around and stuff, you know? Okay, I mean, I give credit because initially I just thought the police just didn't really do a good job at looking around. They just popped in and were like, eh, we'll just look around, whatever. But I mean, he's looking. Mm hmm. <laughs> During Christmas, uh, my friend brought her a baby and the baby's like really obsessed with blueberries. And I was like, oh, I got blueberries for you. Here's some blueberries. I fed her a fuck ton of blueberries, okay? A fuck ton of blueberries. And, um, well, the baby kind of, I think <laughs> my friend, my friend bought the baby over when she was sick, you know, but you know, that she didn't tell me until she showed up, but, uh, the baby was sick and, um, the baby ended up having a fever that night. And so when the baby was crying, um, cause it was like sleeping in one of the guest rooms, uh, my friend brought the baby down and she's like, Bleh! <laughs> and just like projectile vomited onto the walls <laughs> and it projectile vomit on the walls. And it was all over my friend. And like, I couldn't stop laughing and wanting to barf at the same time because there was throw up everywhere. Meanwhile, my friend is like yelling like for her husband to come, but the husband was pretty drunk. And like, I don't know, it was such a shit show. And I was like, I don't even know what to do to stop this. What do I, like, what do I do? It was, it was such a mess. We're just like, yeah, it was vomit everywhere. <laughs> it was like, Bright ass like blueberry shit. And uh yeah, I still got blueberry stains on my wall, but I'm cool, I'm cool with it. It's fine. I'm not one of those people who are like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean it wasn't on the carpet, thank God, but <laughs> it was uh it was pretty funny. Poor baby. Poor baby. She was so cute and we we're like, yeah, she just had blueberry all over her face and everywhere. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I show him about the stuff? I just didn't want to step on the cutter, the, the box thing. Yeah. I think I still had down there. Okay, because you weren't in here. You weren't in here in the beginning, right? I thought I had. I didn't know if I had that box cutter and all that stuff in there. Because I told him about he dropped the candle last night. Oh, okay. And I was. I thought mm -hmm. I must have picked it up. I was just making sure. I didn't want you to be like, oh, just a box cutter. Yeah, I don't know. She's like. I'm telling you, this whole carpet story thing is like really, really, really weird. I think something went down during the carpet story. Um, I think she really hurt him, whether it was like 
She hit him really hard in the head and he couldn't go to school the next day because he was bruised up or something like she like I, I think she really messed him up um, the night before. Um, do I believe he'd spoke to do I believe a kid pooped his pants and was like, hey, you know, it smells bad in here. Let me just light up a candle and then ended up like spilling it. No, I don't believe that. I think that I think she I think she hurt him. And there's a reason why she didn't want him to go to school. She didn't sleep that night. She had made a lot of like searches. And then ultimately she was like, you know what? Like, I don't want to face what I did to him. So I'm just going to kill him or something like, I don't know. It's, it's so wild. But I, the fact that she's like, I don't know, this whole carpet thing, this whole emphasis and she wanted to have it recorded. It was like really, 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 really weird. <laughs> 1.0, 27.0. Yeah, I had to cut this and I told them I wasn't even going to tell that. And I was going to figure out a way to put this in there <laughs> from the Yep, I don't know, man. Listen, when I'm nervous, I laugh. But I also laugh when I'm happy and when I'm angry, too. But I'm always laughing. But, like, this right here, this is some nervousness right here. This is like, oh, let me try to, like, be really jovial and lighthearted just so I can bond with the cop really quick. And the cop's probably like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what box cutter are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Sorry, I'm rewinding just a little bit. It's a box cutter. But, yeah, I had to cut and all that stuff in there. Because I told him about he dropped the candle last night. Oh, okay. And I was, I thought I must have picked it up. I was just making sure I didn't want you to be like, oh, just a box scares. But yeah, I had to cut this. And I told them I wasn't even going to tell that. And I was going to figure out a way to put this in there from the situation. But at least you got a cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And look at how much she's talking versus how much the officer's talking. She's just talking because she just wants to fill the uncomfortableness with her goddamn voice. Wait, so is that the, um, is that the rug that she, she, she cut out a piece of the rug and she put a... And I told them I wasn't even going to tell that. I think she cut out a piece of the carpet and then she put a rug. I don't know, man. I want to know where that piece of the carpet is. I think something's up with that carpet. And I was going to figure out a way to put this in there from the situation, but... It's At least you got like a carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I just took it and like covered up with the carpet and stuff like that, but... Does, does he have any fun. friends around here? Um, there is a, let me look on the stand. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a red flag right there. Red flag. I mean, again, I'm speaking in retrospect, which is like, huh, you cut out a piece of the carpet? Huh, you can just put a rug on top? Hmm, I wonder what happened here. He did have this one, like, boat thing. That's where you're supposed to be at, down the road. But they checked that already? They went over there and talked to her, and they're like, no, we hadn't seen him at all. Oh, okay. He did have this, like, a... Uh... And you talked to parents, right? You didn't talk to... Yeah, Connor's mom came over, who right. is a uh, friend... By the way, her newest claim in trial was that um, she's got multiple personality disorder. She didn't realize it until later on. And then um, her family testified was like, uh, I've never witnessed her having multiple personality disorder, but OK. Um, and that she and I think Dr. Reamer. <laughs> wait, no, Dr. Reamer. Who is Dr. Reamer? I think I'm getting Dr. Reamer mixed up with someone else. No, Dr. We like Dr. Reamer. I think Dr. Reamer was the one that testified in the Murdoch case. Sorry, that was a pathologist. Um, Dr. Who am I talking about? Who's the, who's the, who's the psycho, psycho, Dr. Lewis. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Dr. Lewis. Sorry. I'm sorry, Dr. Reamer. I'm mixing you up. Uh, Dr. Lewis. Yeah, Dr. Lewis was like, yeah, you know, one personality took over and then that personality left. You know, that's the one that killed Gannon. And then um, she didn't realize what happened. She actually forgot. She didn't know what happened. Look at her demeanor. Look at her demeanor right here. So this is supposed to be the other Letitia staff, one of the other personalities that they didn't know what happened actually thought that her stepson was missing. Oh my God. Look at her being so happy and jovial. He goes, hangs out with all the time. Um, so they come over, the people here, the, the friends, they were just the ones that were the door with the bike. Okay. They came over, a bunch of people came over. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. Any, any he friends? Did, he did have like a little book that had um, names on it, but I don't know, no. I don't see it like anywhere specifically. Cause like his wallet, he doesn't, he's not like a, you know what? We do have body cam footage of her from earlier this morning. Um, I don't remember her wearing this this jacket here, but I do wonder if she was wearing the same um, like shirt and pants that she's wearing right now. She must have had definitely changed. I wonder if they asked her, oh, did you change your outfit? Oh, why did you change your outfit? What was your routine? You know, with the Murdoch thing, it's like, oh, yeah. And like, you know, like, did you did you take a shower? No, no. You know, after I had dinner with, you know, Mags and Paul Paul. I went on the couch and just fell asleep watching TV. You know, I, I, I didn't shower or anything. Then later on when they confronted him with the freaking Snapchat stuff and he was up on the stand, he was like, yeah, I took a shower. You know, I took a shower. I just forgot that I took a shower. You know, I just, I just forgot, you know. 
I teach fifth grade, and like you know, you got your like really really chore mature boy, kind of boys, but then what, waiting, he forgets to like bring this or bring that or bring this or bring that. You know? Still kid. Yeah. Yeah. And this woman is around kids. Oh my god. Can we? I mean, I don't know. Maybe she did so well in the interview. Maybe she's like when she's like with other people, maybe one on one or maybe in a group setting and maybe in like social settings. Maybe she's like fine. You know, she only I don't know. I don't know. There are some people that are just really good at hiding their craziness or something like that. But, dude, I remember when I was in school in elementary school and stuff like that, we would have some batshit crazy teachers. And I'm like, how the hell do they pass the interview? These people are batshit crazy. They don't like kids or they're, they're assholes. I'm like, how the hell they're a teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, so, clo no clothes are missing or nothing? No, we actually lay out all the clothes all the time. Like for, you know, like I every day at school, we system. lay out clothes, we do whatever. Is his jacket gone? He had on a, we, he has several jackets. Like he might, it depends on, I'm, I'm very like fashion. So like it, it just depends on jackets. Like he might have this black one with this or there's a blue one with this. And, so he had a jacket. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Several jackets. Like, I mean, you see the kids. Was she, was she say she's very fashionable or something? Girl, you get fashionable. Get out of here. <laughs> um, she was fired from the job she was called into. Listen, she called off work on this day. And her excuse was, oh, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, get in sick. I have to stay home and take care of him. No, man, her excuse was, my dad died. He got ran over or something like that. When that had happened like 10 or 20 years ago. It's like, what? <laughs> You, when you when you want to call off work, you don't got to give them a huge ass sob story. Just be like, hey, you know, like I'm sick. I'm not feeling well. Or hey, like, you know, like, oh, was it her stepdad? Get hit by a car or something like I don't know something crazy like that. Like, yeah, that happened. And that is wild. But that happened like years and years and years ago. But um, listen, you guys ever call out uh, from work or maybe like school and then like made up a story where it's like, yeah, my aunt passed away. You know, I. <laughs> I always heard that was bad juju because if you're if you're saying stuff like that, one day something might happen to your aunt or something. But you know, I don't usually believe in stuff like that. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I ever told anyone that. Like, yeah, you know, my um, my sister died. Yeah, it's just really sad. Yeah, I don't know because you know, one day if they actually do die, you know, it's really sad stuff. Put on a sick voice. Yeah, I've done that before, dude. You gotta calm in the morning, okay? In the morning when you just woke up, and you got that you got that flummy throat voice, you know are missing or nothing. No, we actually lay out all the clothes all the time. Like for, you know, like every day at school, we lay out clothes, we do whatever. Is his jacket gone? He had on a, we, he has several jackets. Like he might, it depends on, I'm, I'm very like fashion. So like it, it just depends. Look at her complimenting herself. What, what she said, like she picked out his jackets or something. She's very fashionable. Depends on jackets. Like he might have this black one with this or there's a blue one with this. So he had a jacket. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Several jackets. Like I mean, you see the kid has, you know, like tons and tons of clothes and he just, you know. And I bet you at this point, these investigators are probably like, hmm, she fishy. She extra fishy. She extra stanky fishy, okay? But, you know, they can't really, they don't really got anything. At this point, they kind of like have to try to get as much information as they can from her and maybe not treat her like a suspect. Don't let her, you know, don't let her suspicion anything or don't let her suspicion anything. Is that a word? Don't let her become suspicious. <laughs> Don't let her suspicion anything. <laughs> What's the? <laughs> don't let her become suspicious. I don't know. That should totally be a word. He has all that stuff. So. Mhm. Mm and he took like none of this. Mm -hmm. Um. Like these are his favorites. All of these things. Okay. Yeah. All right, he's going to grab some more questions and... Okay. Um, How long have you guys lived here? Uh, maybe like a year and something now. Yeah. yeah. And you, you have talked to all of his friends' parents in the area? I, I'm not the person that talks to the friends. I don't have numbers. I don't say yes. I don't... You ain't got to call the numbers. You just knock on the house, knock on the door. These are the neighbors. Oh, look at her giving the excuse because... She probably forgot that, like, hey, when a kid goes missing, I should go try to pretend like I got to go find the kid. Right. But no, she's like when the cops ask her, she's like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. I forgot to call the numbers. <laughs> so she's like, yeah, I'm not the type of person that talks to. Yeah, no, no, I ain't got the numbers. Like, no, you can just knock on their door. Come on. Say no. My husband tells me yes or no. Wait, so he has all the numbers. So there could be some friends that you don't. Know right. Because I, I just don't I don't know the people like that. And. A lot of the time, Who cares? That I, 
Who cares? Your stepkid is missing. I mean, we all know what happened, but you know, I'm, I'm just yelling in the future. I'm just yelling in the past, sorry. I was here, I had to had a job on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. So I had to fly back and forth for a lot. So I didn't really meet a lot of people, you know, like my husband did. Who cares? That is, that's not, who asked? No one's asking about that. We just want to know, did you knock on their door or not? Did you contact that your, your, your stepson's friends? <laughs> Look at her coming up with like all these like unrelated stuff. Like who cares? And he's like, he didn't talk always to always wanted to be the one to talk to everybody about it. And so, well, how about your husband? Does he yeah. talk to these people? Yeah, he's been on the phone with a bunch of them. He's in Oklahoma, Fort Steel right now. Is there, um, is there anybody he hasn't? Yeah, met? because the dad is freaking out. He's like, he's actually actively trying to look for his son. Meanwhile, she's over here like putting on this damn bright jacket on, calling herself fashionable, giggling and laughing with the damn cops and stuff like that. Been able to get a hold of? Ooh. No, he said he's talked to everyone that he knows of. Um, the only concern we had is that he was talking about the friend with the older sibling, mm -hmm. and we don't know who that one is. That's the one we don't know. Do you guys have a name for that? Because person? that we I don't we don't know who that that person is. We've never heard him say like specific mm. name. My husband. Mm. <laughs> she can't come up with any names. Uh, James says search house the neighborhood first. You don't need to be friends with everyone in the neighborhood. Exactly. If my dog goes missing. I'm banging on all your doors, okay? I don't care if I've never said hi to you before. I don't care. I'm, I'm just banging on all your doors because I, I want to find my dog. I don't care, right? Like, <laughs> she's like, no, I'm not friends with them. Oh, I don't talk to them. Oh, God, no. Yeah, this is BS, 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 BS. So much BS. So when he talked to him today, that there was no, like, um, specific name for, but he didn't give him a name. He just told him no, so. He took his, his game console bill. Yeah, they have a couple of different consoles. And I do want to know at what point does she search? Can they track down Nintendo Switch? Because I think she ended up being concerned that, okay, if, if we want to get real deep right here, like I, this is what I think. I think she hit him with his own Switch. And I think that's why the Switch is gone. Like why? I don't know. I, I think that's what happened. Or maybe she wanted to make it seem like he ran away or went to his friends house and switch with him. I don't know. I, I think she hit him with his own switch, man. I think he was playing on it and maybe she hit him with it. And I think that's why it's gone. And the switch was with the body. And later on when she was like, oh, wait, oh, the switch is with Ganon. Oh, I wonder if they can trace the switch, you know, with like iPhones and stuff, right? Switch, you can't, unfortunately. Um, but with iPhones, like sometimes you do like the find my friends thing. And I think she was worried about, you know, them finding the switch. But I don't know. This is just like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I just think, I don't know. Oh, God, it's just so sad. Oh, but. Okay. And one of them is oh, gone. Switch, switch light. They have a two DS, a three DS. One of them is gone. It was in a, like a, the bluish black. Wait, no, that one might be in red. I don't remember. I just know in the video you can see that, or the picture that the lady had. You can see like the like he's got something right here, and it's like mm. far down. Which picture is this? So some lady online. Yeah, what's the picture? She's gonna have to produce this picture at some point, you idiot. Is there a real picture? Is she making it up? I had noticed it, like, like messaged us and had noticed that that was uh, him or the description. And she was like, was that him? And I was like, yes. Where, where was that picture taken? Um, she doesn't know any details. I don't know if this is real or not. Maybe someone did like take a picture. It was like, hey, is this your son or something like that? Or she just completely made up the story. And because initially um, they were like, oh, hey, like, can we get the picture? And she's like, oh. I don't know. It's like in the messages. I have like 150 messages. Like, oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly have about 150 Facebook messages that I haven't answered people on because you got to show me. Was it local? I mean, was it in the yes, Lorsen Ranch? Yes, in Lorsen Ranch. Someone put it on the Lorsen Ranch page. And so you have 150 messages. What if one of those messages was like, hey, Ganon's here. Ganon's with me. No, man, you would be going through all those messages, making sure you follow up on all the leads. And stuff. Even if the cops were there, you'd be multitasking and stuff like that. Oh, my God. Listen, when uh, remember, did I tell you guys like two, two weeks ago, I found like people's I found this guy's dogs, dogs. OK, plural. Both of the dogs escaped from the house. It was like home alone or not home alone. It was uh, homeward bound. <laughs> Two little dogs escaped from their compound and ended up in front of my yard. And then one of them um, I took in because he was still there at night. I didn't want the coyotes to eat him. And the second one showed up out of nowhere. But uh, when we messaged the, the dude on Facebook, because um, we found them through the Facebook group, the guy answered like pretty quick, pretty quick. Okay, he, he wants his damn dogs back. All right. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I got 150 messages, but you guys showed up. I haven't looked at the messages yet. Now you'll be looking at the messages, making sure like go through each one and make sure like, oh, is there a lead here? It's getting around.
a lot of people just kept sending messages, information. First, someone said they saw him get in a white SUV. Then someone said they saw, they caught it on the camera. They were all supposed to be sending this to me. But as I was talking to all these people on Facebook, because my husband gave the neighbor permission to post it, mm -hmm. um, you guys came and I kept having alerts yep. and I weren't gonna like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna go through her inbox and be like, girl, all these things that you were telling us earlier, they're not in here. I don't know, I'm assuming she might be lying. You know. You can just look at this one's at the door. <laughs> huh? It's at the door. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I know you probably gave some of this information to dispatcher already, but can you give us a description of him from Talk yes, so, um, hair color, eye color, any article. Yes, yeah, so brown, brown, um, brown, brown, um, very pale, like, uh, whitish color skin. Mm -hmm. I guess it means at this house brown. that they don't know. And then, um, and the parents may not know. Um, there. and then, yeah. well, they said the floor 10. There was a weird text that dad got about uh, something about bath pounds, salts maybe? and. Hey, if you uh, and if I, I, if I can get some bath salts, do we have any bath salts? Yeah, I, I and my friend it. won't let me play yeah, Sonic or something at their fun. house. He sent that to his dad. Yeah. yeah, I got it. And then uh, mom goes through everything, finds a like a like a oh, let's say this, this is Parker. Oh, is this a Victoria's Secret jacket? <laughs> I think it says pink. <laughs> is that Victoria's Secret? Yeah. So fashionable. Yeah. I don't know. Something about a dad got a weird text about bath salts and something about Sonic or something. I don't know. I, I, I was confused. Yes. 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 Yes
Okay. He does all that. How long has he been uh, over there stationed? He's at? not. He's stationed here. He's just at the Captain, Captain Career Course. Okay. Yeah. And he was only gone for like two days. So they go to a dentist. I think it's like. Ah, okay. DA theory, blood evidence found in storage area. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Like fountain dentist, maybe. All right. We can Everything else is on base. We'll give him a call. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Al. A L. Stouch. S T A U C H. Phone number? 843. Room, room. Room. Protection orders. There's a phone number for the R on your screen, too. Oh, right. Yes. Are we back on three? Yeah. I'm on three. They call me. They call the code. Cool. We'll give him a call. Try okay. to get some more information. Yeah, I mean, as far as, like, the medical dental, you yeah. know, like, he'll know, like, all that stuff because he takes them on base. Cool. All right, well, we'll go give him a call in the car real quick and see if we can get any information. That okay. We want. And then Tom will come back and um, or we'll give you a case number for okay. the runaway and everything. Okay. All right. Thanks. Look at, look, look at us smiling at the end there. Oh, we'll give you a case number for okay. the runaway and everything. Okay. Right. She's like, yeah, I got away with it for now. Okay. Look, look at her smiling there. Ugh, gross. Hmm. Oh, God. She, she's like, she's so happy. I'll come down here and update it. I didn't see okay. oh, This is from three years ago. She ain't happy now. She's sitting in jail. Hi, Tam. How are you doing today? Any choice in gathering any of those? Oh God! I I was not expecting this. <laughs> scared me. Oh God! <laughs> oh, when was this? Is this recent? Date filed June second, two thousand twenty-three. What the hell am I looking at? Wait, is this her in two thousand twenty-three? Here's a, do, do they got tweezers in prison or something? How come she got no bushy eyebrows? Maybe she plucked her eyebrows so badly they won't grow back or something. What, what, what was, was this from? Is this recent? What? Are, oh, is this when they? Is this when they arrested her? Oh man, the pictures are going by so fast. Okay. Ooh, greasy. I mean, don't look like she used her hands. She had, she had other things she used. Poor Gannon. Poor Gannon. Apparently Gannon uh, uploaded like a video on YouTube because he wanted to be like a YouTube gamer. Poor Gannon. Yep, she is. She's a monster. She's so gross. Ugh.